Hello everybody, welcome to this special edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. A place where we talk about anything and everything that is geek, whether it be TV, comics, movies, and video game. And as y'all know, all this month's series of, show, uh, series of um, shows have been all about um, the King of the Monsters, Godzilla, in honor of his um, 60th anniversary, and also the um, new Godzilla movie, which came out last week. And so I thought I would do a, um, and I, and of course I went, me and my, me and my um, wife went to see it last week, and um, we both, and um, like I said, I just thought we'd, um, I just came up with the idea right off, right off the hand, why don't I, do, um, why don't I do a um, brief movie review, to do a brief movie review of the new Godzilla movie. So, and I said, this is you, my uh, and so, um, as I start off, as this is not going to have very many spoilers in it. It's going to have there. There's light spoilers, so I ain't, I ain't going to spoil the main story for you. But um, I ain't going to spoil the main story for you, uh, like I, like a bunch of other, like a uh, few. Well, not many other reviewers have probably done, but I ain't going. I ain't going to do this like I did a review of um, Justice League War. That's a movie I really didn't like, but this movie, I really like it. Um, and start off things, um, I said it's going to be contain very light spoilers, so you don't have to plug your ears and go la 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 or change it or not watch the show until you've seen the movie. But um, so that way, I'll I'll leave something for you to very look look forward to. So um, start off with I'm. Eh. Uh, start off with the movie um, starts in 1954, um, where you see like file footage of Godzilla and everything, and, and it's like it's it may basically make it look like he's been a part of history since 1954. I mean, it's just it's very it's, and to me it's a very well done movie. I mean, my, my, I, me and my wife very much enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, I love. I mean, I've heard. I said, I, I said, I love. I said, I love how they did it. I loved that they made it like he was the, like the reason for the so-called H bomb test in 1954 was because of him. Like they were supposedly trying to kill him, as you heard in the um, trail, various trailers and everything. Like it was an attempt to destroy him, and of course it didn't work. And I love the fact that it's, it, he's. I said he's like almost like he's always been here. Like not the radiation didn't have anything to do with anything, anything to do with creating him, but he's always been here, and I, I love how they did that. And the fact that it, 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 he does fight two monsters in it, I'm not going to spoil. One of them is Mudo, and I'm not going. I kind of want to say what it is, but yet at the same time, I kind of want to let you. Um, if you haven't seen the movie already, I'm gonna leave it a surprise. But um, I'm gonna say it's not King Ghidorah, like I originally thought it was gonna be. It's not King Ghidorah, but it is. I say it's still pretty cool what they do with Mudo and this other monster. And I say it's just. I originally wanted to say what it was, what the second monster was, but I think I'll just leave it to you. I think I'll just leave it for y'all to find out if you haven't seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie. If you have already seen the movie, you know what it is already. And if you haven't, go see it. And go see it. It's a very, very good movie. I said, um, very enjoyable. You get to see Godzilla use his breath, and I'm gonna just, uh, I, I'll just, I'm gonna say it looks like a blue flamethrower. The way they, the way it is, it isn't like uh, you've seen in some of the other movies. It's like just a intense blast, uh, almost like a laser beam out of his mouth, like you've seen in like the '90s or something. Like you've seen in the '90s, uh, it looks like a an intense blast of atomic radiation out of his mouth. It looks like a laser, like a huge laser beam. Though that is cool and everything. It goes back to way to the way they originally wanted to be in 1954, and that was he breathed fire out of his mouth, and that's what they did in this movie. He breathed but essentially blue fire shooting out of his mouth. It looks like a flamethrower, and to me, I thought that was a nice touch. I, I mean, I was just geeking out so hard when every time they did something that had to do with Godzilla like when they review uh, you first reveal his full size and scale and when he first roared when he first used his breath I mean it was just exciting I mean I mean I, I loved it 
And I've heard folks in various reviews complain like, he isn't in the movie as much. I mean, it's a Godzilla movie. It's got his name on it, and yet you hardly ever see him in the movie. Well, think about, um, and he said, it's always just Mudo. Well, think about if you if you've ever seen the Godzilla movie from 1954, think about it for a second. You don't hardly ever see him that much in the movie either. I mean, most of the first in the movie is just shipping disasters. Probably for the first, I'd say about 30 minutes or so of the movie, the first 20 or something minutes of the movie, it's not, I mean, it's like a 80 or 90 minute movie, but um, for like the first few minutes, for the first probably say 15, 20, maybe I'd even say 30 minutes of the movie, it's not, he, you don't see him hardly any. I mean, you see the damage that he does. I mean, you see ships explode, fire breathe on people. You get maybe a peak of them here and there. And then finally when, and then finally when uh, uh, later on, and then finally later on when the researchers go to the island to investigate after the big typhoon there, they go to investigate their claims that the monster attacked them. Then you finally see him, but it takes a while. I mean, he's his 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 appearances are sparse in that movie. They're they're here and there and everywhere. It's just like this movie to me. They went almost a template of storytelling that in this Godzilla movie they did in the very first one. I mean, this one's supposed to be a new beginning, isn't it? It is supposed to be a new beginning, and the way they did it to me was just good. I mean, it was very well done, very good, and and I would say the human story it was good. It didn't really, to me, it didn't really get in the way. They say human storytelling was clunky and everything. I was like, well, it is a monster movie. It ain't supposed to be all about human beings running away, a, a, a humans caught, a family caught in a crossfire the whole time, is it? No, it's supposed to be a monster movie. And to me, I said it was just very well done. The design of Godzilla. There's folks who who have picked on his appearance and everything, calling him fat and everything. He's not fat, and I know I've heard. You know, my wife told me I said in other in other languages, and and, and um, I think in Japan, um, fat kind of means taller. Yeah, he is taller, but I said there's there some folks that almost call him call him fat. He's not fat. I mean, Godzilla's never been spell anyway. I mean, probably the thinnest version of Godzilla, not counting the 98 version, which I will not, which I'm not, um, of the real Godzilla. Probably the most felt version I ever saw was Godzilla Final Wars. That's probably the skinniest version of Godzilla I've ever seen. Otherwise, he's been this big, muscle, behemoth, powerhouse, force of nature looking creature. He's always been big. I mean, he's always been a big creature, especially one, probably one of the biggest versions, of, probably one of the most massive looking versions they ever had in the Japanese version was one from Giant Monster Law Attack, where he looks like a zombie. That was probably one of the most massive looking ones I've ever seen until this one. I mean, he's he's as big as the skyscrapers, and he, he's, he's head tall with the skyscrapers in San Francisco. He's huge. There's even some buildings that do dwarf him, but he's still big, very big. And to me, they did a very good job with him. They did a very good job with him. The Mudos, that's a very, I'm going to say, I don't know what kind of creatures they were, or the, the, the Mudo was. I don't know what kind of creature the Mudo was, but um, it's very interesting. It was a uh, Pardon that. Um, I don't know what kind of creature he was supposed to be. I don't know what he was supposed to be like. He looked like an insectoid thing. I, 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 he looked like a cross between an insectoid, bat kind of creature. I don't know what kind of thing he was supposed to be. He dates back to the the time of, well, the, well he's kind of almost up there with Godzilla. And, um, I mean, it's just... I don't know what the Mudo is supposed to be, but it's a very interesting creature. It's very interesting. I mean, it's it kind of almost at times it almost reminds you of Rodan a little bit. I mean, when it's flying, it reminds you of Rodan, and when it's not, it reminds you of the creature from Cloverfield. 
a lot. I mean, it has like multiple arm looking thing, the way it walks around and everything. But it also reminds you of how a bat looks too. But um, when it flies, it reminds you of a bat or a Rodan. And to me, it was a very well done movie. I mean, it was, I mean, I really enjoyed it. And and my wife really enjoyed it too. I mean, I, I said, she's good, she's, she likes Godzilla too. Um, she likes Godzilla too. Um, yeah, but like I said, it's, like I said, we both really enjoyed it, enjoyed it a lot. And I give it two thumbs up. I mean, I give it two thumbs up. I mean, an A plus, a 10, 10 stars, if you can give it that much, five stars, 10 stars, two thumbs up, A plus. I mean, it was very well done. I mean, I didn't get bored any time during the movie. I did not get bored not any time during the movie. I mean, it was just all well done. I mean, and, and I'm going to say, when we went to see it in 3D, and it looked re and this is some of the best 3D I've ever been in. Uh, best, probably the best 3D movie I've ever sat through. This is the best one so far. I mean, Man of Steel was probably really good too. I didn't ever go see it in 3D last year, but this one was really good. I really enjoyed it, and my wife did too. I said we both. I, I mean, I can't wait till the DVD comes out. I really can't. I cannot wait until the DVD hits. Because I'm probably, if it's where I can, I'm gonna make sure I'm right there to get it. <laughs> because I love, I love this movie. I'm gonna say, um, so far this is my number one movie of 2014. This is the number one movie of the year to me. And I said I would love to see, and they've already announced a sequel. So that's that shows you it was a big success this past weekend. Ninety-three point eight million dollars. Or ninety-eight point three, maybe I'm getting it backwards. I don't know, but anyway, it's in ninety, almost an old, 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 well over ninety million dollars, and it's in. They've already announced a sequel, so you know it's good. You know it did really good. It did what it set out to do. It said it, it exceeded their expectations. I was like, y'all need to put a little bit more higher expectations on this than what you did. I mean, I knew it was going to be a hit. Every time I saw a trailer for it, I got more. And more and more excited. I knew it was going to be very good. I knew it was going to be good because, well, they said they're going to set out to make a Godzilla movie right, and they did it. Mission accomplished. Kudos to Gareth Edwards and everybody on that movie. You did good. You did good. I, for one, am very pleased at what they did. What this Godzilla movie. I had this Godzilla movie was. I'm very pleased because I'm gonna say at least one other one because after the last one the Japanese made, I was disappointed and kind of disappointed in that one. And though I did like it, I was still disappointed. This one, it's good. It was very good. I can't wait for them to make another one. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see Godzilla two. I can't wait to see who they pick as the foe. I mean, they and that's a little bit of something too. They kind of dropped the Easter egg here and there of who a potential future foe might be and and I hope it's I said and I said like I said um, I ain't gonna say who it is but you'll know it when you see it uh, I said like I said go see it my, my I, I highly recommend this movie go see it it was very good you'll really I almost guarantee you'll uh, enjoy this movie it's very good I said get, go see it and um, what do y'all think? Did y'all, did y'all, uh, all of y'all have seen the movie? Did y'all enjoy it? Did y'all like it as much as I did? Did y'all not like it as much as I did? Let me know. Always drop a comment, comment box. I would love to hear from y'all. And that's all for this week's edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. And y'all got any comments about the show in general? Drop me a comment, in the comment box. Um, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um. Um. Yeah, you got any ideas of any about things you want to see in the show? Um, drop me in a comment in the comment box. I'm always looking for fresh new ideas and things to talk about on the show. I will um would love to. I'm always looking for fresh new things to talk about on the show, and I would love to hear. I would love to hear your ideas. As I said, just drop me an idea in the comment box. I would love to hear from y'all. I would love to hear your ideas, and you don't ever know when it may be. End up being made into an episode of Mr. J's Geek Corner. 
I said, drop me an idea. I would love to hear your ideas. And I'll see y'all next time.